Good news, Lord Velvetors. The Campaign HQ is established, has been established just for you. Campaign HQ? I'm not trying to run for president. Isn't that a bit much? Mm-hmm, is that so? It's always better to be safe than sorry. All is for my lord. Good morning, Lord Velvetors. I've established the Campaign HQ as requested by Sir Fenric. I'll show you around the HQ whenever you're ready, shall we? This is the Campaign HQ, my lord. This is the place where powerful demons plan and strategize their journey to the top. It's a very important place. I will explain all the functions here, so please take a look at this map. This is a map of the entire netherworld. One day, you will rule over all of this. Oh, I'm just a pretty instructor. I don't want to rule anything. Hmm, you're very modest, my lord. You will surely you will surely rule the netherworld someday. In other words, this is a future representation of the netherworld. All this land will be yours, my lord. As long as we keep winning battles, these areas will truly become your lands. Is that decision even ours to make? I fear you, I fear you as my steward. I shall take that as a compliment, my lord. Oh, and just so you know, once you actually rule an area, it will become even more useful for you, so please rule even more lands, my lord. Now, allow me to explain further. Place the units that you have created on the areas of the map. The Dispatch Evil Deputy command to place your units on the areas. This command can be accessed by pressing, the, pressing X to open the Campaign HQ menu. You can dispatch one of your ally members as the Evil Deputy to different lands. You can check the brightened areas on the map. These are your virtual areas, where you can place your units. The chance of a team attack will increase if you place two allies next to each other. And only place one unit on each land. In order to create a new unit, you'll need to open land. So keep that in mind. Now, I will go ahead and explain the Senate hearings. In the nether... In this netherworld, some wishes can come true through Senate hearings. Please select the command Senate hearings. We'll go ahead and submit a bill. Men is needed in order to do so. Once you've selected a topic, the Senate hearing can begin. To have your bills passed, you need more eyes than nays. What if more senators disagreed? Do we simply give up? Not always. If you're confident enough, you can always win the vote through force. Mm -hmm. Look at you. This doesn't sound like it's going to be easy. Okay. Let's see. So we have a bunch of land open areas. Who do we put? Actually, I, we don't have any anybody else. So it's kind of pointless. A select character evil symbol. UI for this is a little odd. Okay, so I can create a new character, delete a character, change an item name, change weapon looks. Interesting. More expensive stuff, cheaper stuff. Can't go any lower. I want to cheat. Place the cheat shop in the base. Heck yeah. Welcome to the Senate, my lord. Before we start the vote, let's prepare for it. You can prepare by bribing the senators. Pay them money so they'll approve your bill. Blue senators are leaning yes, while red senators are leaning no. Try to befriend the most influential senators. If you bribe a senator, you also affect the senators of the same party. Just because they're leaning one way doesn't mean they'll vote that way. They are demons after all. When you're ready, press X and... Select either begin the vote or return to the campaign HQ. Mana you spent won't be refunded, but every now and then it's best to concede. Oh, and I talked to the campaign manager to make it easier to call the Senate. This way you won't have to go to the campaign HQ each time you want to call the Senate. Now, now, please enjoy democracy. She didn't like that. Bomb. Um, whoops. I 
I didn't remember if bombs would actually explode on them. I guess I should have... I should have known. But I don't have anything else. Okay, so I actually hurt my chances there, but that's fine. Begin the vote. Doesn't matter. Well, that explode. Okay, so I want to cheat has been approved. Transmitting? Oh, probably because I'm online. I don't know if there's much of a reason for me to be online. Oh well, what other Senate hearings do we have? Leave me be. Embezzlement contributions. I've never had that work. Wait, what was that? Meaver's swimsuit. Get Meaver to wear a swimsuit. Oh, but I need more mana. Anybody have 100? No. I don't know who Meaver is, but we're getting them in that swimsuit before we're done here. Cheat shop has been open to the base. Alright, so where's where's the cheat shop? Ain't there. I don't actually remember what the cheat shop does. Oh, there it is. Be smart about living in the netherworld. Welcome to the cheat shop. Need men to learn new skills? Not satisfied with enemy strength? Then you come to the right place. You can change the balance of the netherworld. Get more EXP. Strengthen the enemies for more thrills. The power is in your hands. Use the cheat shop and enjoy life in the netherworld. Okay. So I can just control these. Uh, I still have more points. I guess let's go mana. Is 110% the top? I guess it is. Uh, let's see. We're just going to leave this as such for now. I'm pretty sure... Okay, remaining points are just the EXP rate, change the strength of enemies. Okay, so... More points and flexibility requires more progress in the story. Network functions are on the second page. Oh, you can turn user pirate ships and foreign ministers on or off. It's up to you. Oh, got it. Okay, so... User pirates. Item world rooms. Ah, huh. user ministers and upload ministers. Interesting! Yeah, I, I've used something kind of close to the cheat shop. Cheat shop. Like, I'm used to turning enemy levels up and down. But the idea of being able to, like, change how much money you get versus not and all that stuff. That's different. I probably will... Uh, I don't know, leave it fairly default, at least for now, but eventually it'll change. Okay, so where are we going? Princeletize room. Oh, like proselytize. Hmm. My position and leadership abilities will be put into question if this continues. All of my effort will be a total waste if that happens. I gotta take control of this situation before those fools really get out of hand. You, are you the Warden of Hades? Yes, sir. I am Axel, the Warden of Hades. I was personally appointed by the President. We are the President's Special Assassination Task Force. Have you been briefed on the current situation? Yeah, of course. To make your jobs easier, I gathered all those worthless pieces of garbage into one area. Barbecue, boil, broil, bake, saute. Do whatever you want to them. Great. I'm glad you're making this easier for us. That's the Assassination Task Force, also known as the Abaddon. I hope they're as powerful as their namesake. <laughs> Here you are again. They're like moths that singe their wings by flying too close to the fire. Gentlemen of the Special Task Force, they're the anarchists who are trying to stop the printing extermination. Over here! Please exterminate all the annoying rats, too. Hmm. As you wish.
Huh? What are you doing? We received an anonymous tip about possible anarchist activity. About a warden whose love for Prinnies has driven him to public expressions of dissent against the corruptorment. You've already confessed, said you were aware of the situation, and were eager for us to enforce the punishment. What? No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> You! How dare you do this to me! That is so admirable of you, Warden. You've been strict, but you actually care a lot about the prinnies. Oh, I am humbled by your overwhelming love for the prinnies. I'm so ashamed for thinking otherwise of you. Is that right? I never suspected that you cared so much about the prinnies. Warden, I accept and understand your passion toward the Prinnies. Therefore, it has been decided. The Warden is an anarchist. Ah! No! Wait! Stop! Ah, help me! What shall we do, my lord? He appears to be in need of our assistance. Is there even any doubt? We can't possibly forsake a man of such passion. I knew you were going to say that. Y you guys will help me? Well, wait a second. This is all just a mistake in the first place. Let us fight together, Ward and Axel, to release the Prinnies and for their promise of sardines. Okay, Velvetoras. Uh, let's see. Not a whole lot to fight yet. So I guess we're just going with uh, stab him in the butt. Go from there. I feel like I need some kind of dumb gimmick for this series, but I'm not really sure what I want to do yet. Actually, let's stop that for a second. Let's just go for the combo hits between Astroth and... Wait. Who would be next? Uh, not Astroth. Uh, Fenric. Take this. orders, my lord. And Velvetorus. Because I think it benefits both of them. And let's him do whatever. Ah, uh, You know what? I got this. Let me think. Here I come. Let's see. Lift him. How far can I throw? Not quite far enough. Time to bust some balls. But you know huh? what? Actually, we can do it in the reverse. I should use some of the other characters occasionally anyway. They're worth it. There's some oh well, there's a lot of things the main characters can't turn into. But these guys, they can turn into whatever they want. Ow. 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 Here oh. I come. Ha. Okay, let's let's get uh, death bait out. Oh, I forgot to actually go to the hospital after the last time. Man, I'm lucky that that all got reset because that would have been expensive, a lot. I can't believe he survived this process. That's kind of impressive. Oh yeah, go figure. Uh, that should kill him. Oh. Hold up. So we also have a couple of treasure chests here and more EXP. That just increases defense. Okay, so if I go here. Here I come! Yeah! A little bit late in the process for this, but eh, whatever. Good luck, Sardine Thief. I believe in you. Anyway, so now we get an extra bonus EXP, which is good. Good stuff. We have no one we can heal. That is kind of bad. Well, you know what? 
I'm just gonna shoot Axel's cat, because who gives a dang? Uh, let's see. I guess we'll just hit the cod plops and nothing else. All right, enter. Oh, I didn't notice there was a uh, red block here too. I should probably pay attention to that. I'm so used to them being diamonds that it's actually very strange that they're these giant block things. I should probably give that an ogle and actually see what it does. And Sardine Thief is quite doomed. So what is this one? Bonus EXP. That seems like that was probably worth it. Uh, lift. Let's check this in. So I guess we found our first grinding level, like, right off the bat. Uh, let's see. How tough are these guys? Hell if I know. Just gonna vamp him. Might kill him both. Well, worst comes worst, he gets really strong. Okay, did not kill them. My disappointment is eternal. Question. If I hit that, probably won't do anything. Let's just go for the heal. I'm still coming. I hate neutral characters, because they always take away all my EXP, and that is something that offends me greatly. Okay, have her hide over here, heal up. Here I come! I wonder if I could just kill Axel first. That seems like that would be, that would be the ultimate solution to my problems. Let's cancel his action. I s sure hope Axel does not need to survive this fight. Oh, that's accuracy. I have no idea how much damage that's actually going to end up doing. Well, that's fine. I'll show you. You didn't die yet. This sucks. I'm just gonna keep hitting Axel until he's quite dead. That's okay. Yep, that does not damage. Eh, level 5 and level 6, or level 4 and level 6. That's not so bad. Yeah, we might specifically have to revisit this area. More than once. Ow! Oh, right, right. Okay, so move here. Special, triple strike, axle. Wild! Killing Axel will take some effort, but that's okay. We're going to keep killing the shit out of him. Aha! <laughs> I gained two levels off of him. Suck it, Axel. You were worth something to me. I thank you. Okay, who needs the XP? I mean, technically she does, but that's... That's gonna be... That's gonna take actual work. Chance of team attack. Very freaking high. Here I come. Buddies. I Leveling you. up by killing your allies. Wow. Is he an ally? I think he's just a temporary... Uh, a temporary acquaintance that is just on the same side of, of a battle with me, which is helping me get EXP. <laughs> No way! How could these lowlifes defeat us, the Abaddon? Just so you know, we are subordinates of the Warden. We're not allowed to disobey his orders. That's the only reason we fought. Be sure to include that in your report to your superiors. What? No, no, no! This is a mistake! Well now. Must have been the Abaddon scouting crew. What shall we do now, my lord? Attack the Abaddon main forces! We will keep fighting for the release of the Prinnies! <laughs> His tyrant blood is starting to boil for the first time in ages. How absolutely delightful. 
Very well. Let's hurry before the Corruptorment receives word about the Warden's Rebellion. Y you're right! We can't let them find out. Wait! I didn't do anything wrong! Warden Axel is forced to join the party. And there might have been more there, but I couldn't read it because it went by too fast. Oh well, I'll live. Uh, let's see. Let's go here. Yeah, we took some damage. Uh, <laughs> his name really is Error. I love that. So, do we take some time to actually get some of these characters to not suck? That might not be a terrible idea. Sardine Thief certainly needs a bit of a boost. Uh, sort. Okay, that'll help a little bit. Because the one problem is we're going to end up with a lot of... With our main two characters actually being worth something. And everybody else is just hot garbage. Eh, worse things have happened. Let's see, learn evil tea. Let's see. Really feeling most of these evil teas. Do you get other evil teas later? Probably, yeah. I forget. I forget what they are. Uh, I guess let's just keep plowing ahead. Worst comes to worst, I just use the same two characters. It wouldn't be a bad idea to go back at some point. We'll keep going until we uh we get our butt kicked though. Uh, let's see. So, I wonder if you played any of the other Disgaea games. I. I've recorded a full series on Disgaea 5. I've played Disgaea 1 and 2 to completion on my own when I, was a, when I was a kid. And I also played Phantom Brave, which I really loved. Ha! So you are the lowly demons who are trying to start a rebellion against the Corruptorment? Hm. Well, I came to see for myself what kind of idiots would come up with such a stupid idea. But you guys don't look like you're worth the effort. Who's this impudent whelp? Listen up, rascal. This place is about to become the historical site of a bloody battle. You should leave before you get hurt. You idiots! Don't you know who I am? I'm Death Emisel. I am the Abaddon Commander. I'm in charge of the assassination task force run by the President. I'm also his one and only son. The blood of the greatest lineage in the netherworld flows through my veins. Now kneel before Amizo. What? The president's son? This is my chance. Say what now? You're the president's son? Please forgive us for our rudeness. Allow me to kneel before you. I'll even lick your high tops. you groveling on your knees like this guy? You can't even figure that out for yourself? I suppose I can spare the time to explain it to you. Your father is the Netherworld president because he earned it with his own power and abilities. It has nothing to do with you. Your prestigious bloodline comes from your ancestors' efforts. It has nothing to do with you. That being said, I have no reason to prostrate myself before you. That's the reason. That's it. <laughs> that was a bit harsh. He is a mere whelp, my lord. Yo, yo, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Don't you, don't you fear the name of the president? Absolutely not. There are only two things in this entire world that I fear. Small sardine bones that get stuck in my gums and breaking promises. The president is neither one of them. Ah, that's whack. I don't have time for this. Hey, guys, just kill him.
Huh? The enemies are acting weird. We should watch them for a while. I'll show you sardine power. I'm not doing that. What are you doing? What? Walking it up. Oh boy. Uh. Oh. What the hell is that? It's a giant monster. And another one became a weapon. Magic change and demon fusion. Special commands that only that can only be used by monster type units. With these commands, monster type units will become more useful and will broaden our battle tactics. Magic change is when a human type unit equips a monster type unit that morphed into a weapon. This time the sardine Thief Cat Saber will go ahead and show us magic change. Oh, right, because these, these are new things in the game. Have the Cat Saber select the magic change command and choose a partner to magic change with. It's on autopilot. Oh, well. And we get a gun. We get a weird cat gun. Just like that, Sardine Thief Cat Saber has turned into a very convenient weapon. What weapons the monsters will turn into depends on the race, so you should also keep that in mind for strategy purposes. The power of the magic changed weapons depends on the monster's stats. The stronger the monster, the stronger the weapon will be. Now let's try attacking. We'll actually use the special skill that's only available during a magic change. Following the advantages of magic change, temporary use of a monster's evil tea. Magic chain skills, change skills become available. Both characters gain EXP. The disadvantage is that there is a time limit. It can only be used for six turns, and the two units count as one. After the time limit is up, the character who magic changed will disappear and won't be able to fight again in, in that same battle. But after that, a slot for the dispatch units will open up again, allowing you to dispatch another unit in place of it. The monster character that disappeared will come back after the battle ends, so no need to worry. Rest assured, my lord. If the human type unit with the magic changed weapon is defeated during battle, both units will be considered KO'd. So please be careful. I never thought monster type units could be so such useful tools. Mm-hmm. All you have to do now is level up your skill your monster allies and make them learn the skill. Now, moving on to demon fusion. Demon fusion is done when multiple monster type units unite with each other. Demon fusion can be done with monsters of the same or different races. We'll use two printies this time. First, move one printy. Uh, I can just figure this out my own. Next, move the second printy up to the first printy. I remember this feature being in Disgaea 5. I remember the magic change, but I don't remember the other part. It's like fusion. Choose a partner to fuse with. Ready, dude. There you have it. Whoa, the two printies have become a single giant printy. I see. So this is demon fusion. The demon fusion also has advantages and disadvantages, my lord. Disadvantages to fusion. Fusions consume SP every turn. When a unit's SP reaches zero, the fusion will end. Fused monsters take up to five panel spaces in the shape of a cross. Again, please keep track of your SP. One of the fused monsters was already has already moved. They'll not be able to move or attack again. Same goes for using skills or attacks. Since they take up more space, they're easier targets for enemies. But that's only natural, my lord. Fuse monster can blow away a unit who's in the destination point of its movement. This can also be used as an advantage, depending on how you use it, since the effect is the same for all allies and enemies. The biggest advantage of the demon fusion is that you gain a wider range of attack. Krillin bomb. Without, without demon fusion, this attack's range is only one panel. After fusion, the range has become three. This goes the same for both special and normal attacks. On top of that, if you use magic change with demon fusion, what'll happen? That'll be a surprise, my lord. Please try it out. 
for yourself some time. Oh, I can't wait. Interesting. I'll try it out, no matter what it takes. Mm-hmm. All is for my lord. Hey, thank you, Sebastian R. Moon, for the three-month or five-month resub. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're back to where we were. Now let's take a look. Treasure chest appears when defeating an enemy on this panel. Let's see, ally boost. Okay. Uh, this. Not fast enough. Okay, let's have air move here. Lift this. Throw this here onto blue. Okay. And then I'm gonna have Velvatoras hit the blue geo block. It'll hurt a little bit, but it'll be worth it. Because now we get an ally boost of fifty percent, and enemy that any enemy that dies here will get a uh, will drop a treasure chest. Probably more worthwhile than uh, probably more worthwhile than just blasting all of the uh, all of the cubes out. I thank you. Okay, and let's move Asteros, and we do we? Yeah. And turn. We'll clear out of the, clear out of the way so they'll have space for next time. And they're going to be fusing. Mega Prinny's voice is even higher than normal Prinny voice. Of course. Ow. I actually didn't know you could stand on top of those. I guess they changed it to cubes. Well, I guess that was pointless. Uh, let's see. I need to kill this man, don't I? There. Killing him might become a problem. Or, it might be a problem. His name is also Death Satan. Man. That's a hell of a name. Oh, if I do Impaler Prince on Death Satan. Oh, do I want to move, though? I can't move. Alright, whatever. I might not be able to do anything big. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go here and just magic change for him. I don't remember what Prinny's turn into, actually. But they... Oh. Okay. They turn into a giant... I think that's a giant bow, which is hilarious? It'd be kind of neat if there were multiple different magic change forms. Uh, let's see. Anyway, seeing as I don't have to safeguard them, I'll just start shooting things and hitting things and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, let's see. Did she already do her thing? No, she hasn't done her thing, thing yet. Uh, let's see. I'm just ex I'm gonna sorry. execute for a bit. Catling gun. I think mostly it's just a gun gun. Wow, that, that sucks. That did actually nothing. Do I have anybody else? I have no one else. Well, good luck me. So those guys are probably dead. And I want to lure most of my enemies back onto the onto the blue. Can she make it? She can. Okay, we'll just live with that for the time being. Can't do Tower Swing. Can attack Ryo here. He does have a gun. Which means I think he'll get the uh he'll get a counterattack. I don't know. We'll just hit pant line. Pant line? Really now. I I guess so. 
freaking names, man. They are... They are mega special. They're always freaking mega special. Okay, let's just let this go. I don't remember if you get EXP for hitting an enemy or if you have to actually kill them. I want to say you actually have to kill them. Well, at least they're all pretty much going for that guy. Ow. Counter, counter. So it looks like the printing bow is going to work. Uh, other stuff, maybe not so much so. Uh, let's see, Impaler Prints. Is there a way that I can... Aha! Remember that I remember there was a button that you could press. I'll show you sardine power. The XP for kills, weapon proficiency for attacks. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can't hit the rest. I'm just gonna pop them over here. Uh oh. We have to actually hit the treasures. Alright. Slippers obtained. Luckily my these two are actually fairly beefy, so they're not just going to get wrecked. He's pretty good with the bow. That's good shit. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, we don't have an easy way of dealing with some of this. Let's bring out Isabel. Can she heal? There we go. Bang. But yeah, the, the pretty bow ain't half bad, all things considered. Unfortunately, he's not very proficient in bows. And might not be able to learn the skills ever? I don't remember that being how it worked in Disgaea 5? Well, yeah, she's dead. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have... Him attack the treasure chest. Here I come. Okay. Gonzamon moves here. Look at this guy. We're gonna just chuck him back into the mix. Yeah. And then we're just gonna hit this. We can't get a treasure chest from the, the last guy anyway. And we might as well get rid of all the geo blocks while we're here. This will hurt. But that's okay. We Bam. That's a nice little bonus. Extra items are always useful. It looks like they're committing a little bit more to the geo panels in this one compared to Disgaea 5. I could, do I get a team attack that way. No. But I probably get a team attack this way. Hell yeah. Body combo. Oh, shit. He lives. Never mind. He did not live. Art to diminish. Huh. Prisoners are given a level cap, forcing them to submit. H how can you be so strong? Well, what kind of cheap trick did you use? <laughs> My lord's strength is unquestionable. That's because he is the... Sardine! Say what? You want to know the secret to my power? It's the sardines. Eat them and you will get stronger as well. What are you talking about? Why would I eat sardines? You dumb bastard! I hate fish! Damn it! Let's get back to the main force! Listen up! This ain't over! I'll get you next time for sure! You got that? Oh, next time! was a picture-perfect loser call-out. Simply exquisite. 
Oh no! My only opportunity! We've upset the president's son. He was really pissed. <laughs> I can't believe those powerless blowhards were actually appointed to the president's special task force. They have an ominous sounding name, but as far as I could tell, they're just babysitters for that insufferable brat. Oh, the Netherworld has become quite a tepid place while I was away. It's rather disappointing. You still have no idea how much this netherworld has fallen. That is why you must now take over the netherworld. All is for my lord. <laughs>